Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cam's Corner 2.0. We're starting a new progression now. We're going to do a two-part series working with game plans, tactics, and specifically how to defend chases. So today's episode, part one, is going to be on how to defend chases that are last gallery or better. So what that means is that we have a chase set between last gallery and better than half a yard that we have to try to defend. In other words, we want to stop them from getting that ball second bounce closer to the back wall than our chase line. And this starts with our serve. Our opponents now with this chase do not have the ability to hit the galleries to win the chase, which means we don't have to focus on serving in a way to stop them from hitting the galleries. But we still have to focus on that serve because we still have to win this point somehow. And so what we want to actually focus on is getting ourselves a ball in this half of the court. Our, for most of us, our right-handers, our forehand corner. And the reason for that is, is because it opens up the possibility of us hitting that ball into the hazard galleries, which would instantly win us that point. So from a serve perspective, remember, everybody's different. You may choose a different serve than I do. But the thought process in your mind should be that when I hit this serve, my opponent more often than not returns cross court which is more advantageous for me given our situation. All of these things, defending chases, winning these points, come down to percentages. We need to make percentage decisions. And what that means is that we need to make the logical choice every time. And that doesn't mean that we're going to serve, they're going to hit the ball back, and we're just going to hit it straight into the hazard galleries. Yes, in an ideal situation, that's what happens. But remember, your opponent's trying to win this point too. He's not just going to give you an easy shot. So if that percentage play because they've hit a good shot, is to hit the ball up the line at the tambour, then take that, take that percentage. To hit that shot, it's still an effective shot. Don't overthink trying to get that ball into the hazard galleries just because we know it'll win the point. So our progression for this is that we want to focus on our serve in a way that gets us to the forehand corner to open up the galleries as a possibility, the hazard galleries. If the hazard galleries are there and we have a ball that we feel confident on, that's where we want to go back to. If it's not there, right, if they've hit a pretty good shot and we just want to focus on getting it back, let's lift that ball down the line. Okay, and now the other part of this is that, yet again, just because you have a ball that you can go for the galleries on and you feel confident doesn't mean that you're going to hit the gallery. Same way you can aim for the tambour up the line, but that doesn't mean it's going to hit the tambour. We need to focus on our height and our width of shot at all times to make sure that our worst possible outcome is still a decent outcome. And what that means is that we don't want to go for the hazard galleries and lift that ball high and put it onto the roof when we miss, because then we're giving our, our opponents a better chance to cut that ball into the corner and win the chase on their next shot. Same thing with down the line. We don't want to lift that ball, miss Tambor, and put it on the roof on that side. So we want to make sure that we're making a percentage play even within our shot. So our percentage may say that this is a tough shot, I'm going to go down the line because I don't have a good angle or a good go at the galleries. Once I've made that decision, I now need to say to myself, I need to focus on lifting that ball and giving it good clearance over the net so that I don't make an error. And I also need to make sure that I don't lift it too high that it goes onto the back roof. That is our chess move in this situation. We're maneuvering ourselves and the ball around the court in a way that will eventually open up an obvious shot to the base of the tambour the hazard galleries, or some sort of opening, open part of the court that's going to win us this chase. Try not to focus in on one shot too much. Allow yourself those variables and those little changes, and that'll give you the highest chance to win that point. 